Hey everybody, welcome back to My Slice of Heaven Outdoors, I'm Joey. And as you can see, I'm in front of the chestnuts today. And we're going to be doing a little update on those and doing some transplanting. And if you remember when I first planted these, I told you I was going to do some regular updates on these. But, uh, we had a family crisis here in about two months ago. And ever since then, I just have not felt like doing anything. Uh, yeah, you know, so I haven't been doing very many videos. You've probably been wondering why I haven't been putting out many videos, and that's why I just have not felt like doing anything and have not had the energy to do anything. But, uh, these are the trees. They're looking pretty good. You can see them right here. They're not bad at all. The leaves do feel a little dry. I don't know if that's normal. But I did have a problem where a few of my trees were turning brown like this. The leaves were turning brown. And after doing some research and talking to some people, they're telling me it's because of these plastic containers. After the roots get so big, and because of these plastic containers, that it, the soil dries out faster. And, and actually cooks the roots if they're on the sides of this plastic. So after talking to a few people, I started transplanting these in the one gallon pots. I'm hoping the ones with the brown leaves will just drop their leaves and continue to grow. And these are my one gallon pots I'm going to be using. They're definitely two or three times bigger than the plastic jugs. But I got a question for everybody out there. These are one gallon containers. Now when you go to the store to buy a one gallon container, you're expecting a one gallon container. But if you look in the fine print underneath of that one gallon, it says 2.9 quarts. So this thing won't even hold a gallon. Just another way they get you at the store. Uh, when I first planted these, I told you I was going to do the regular updates. I also did an experiment with uh, some of these inside miracle Grow with the uh, water control, dampness control. And I can tell you right now at about two and a half weeks using the PGX Pro Mix, I'd already had trees coming up out of the, the soil. The miracle Grow it took about four weeks before they actually broke soil and started growing into a tree. And also with the miracle Grow, uh, I had a lot of what they call dampening off where the tips of the leaves and all will turn brown, the stems will sometimes get thin. I did lose three trees in the miracle Grow, And even compared to the other trees, the ones that are still growing in the miracle Grow are not nowhere near as good as the ones in the PGX Pro Mix. So from here on out, I'll be using the PGX Pro Mix. Now what I'm going to be planting these in today, and I just got off work so I'm just going to do maybe 10 or 15 of these trees tonight. But I, what I did, I took three parts of the PGX Pro Mix and one part of the miracle Grow, and I mixed it all together. And you're probably asking yourself, well why'd you do that if you're saying that the miracle Grow didn't grow that well? If the trees didn't grow that well in the miracle Grow. Well, I did notice the miracle Grow tends to hold a lot of moisture longer. And the one trees that I'm getting with the dying out are the PGA, PGX Pro Mix. So I'm hoping that by mixing it with one part miracle Grow that it'll hold moisture longer between uh, waterings. So, uh, well, let's go ahead and get started on the... repotting these uh, trees and oh you also notice I had to buy shade cloth because well because of this reason here because my pots kept drying out really fast because we've been in up in the 90s for about actually about a month and a half now and not much rain so put the shade cloth on there to keep them shaded from the sun a little bit. It's a 40% shade cloth and also to keep my soil damp and keep it from drying out too fast. So let's go ahead and get started potting up these trees. And all I did was, like I said, I used uh, 
three parts of the Pro Mix to one part of the Miracle Grow, and I just mixed it all together. And actually, all the dampness you see in here is actually from the Miracle Grow because it was still damp in the bag. The other stuff is completely dry, like it's almost like uh, moss when you buy it in a bag. It's real dry. And Let's go ahead and get these potted up. And all I do is put a little bit on the bottom like that. Grab a tree. Pull the nut off. And that's why you have to put these trees in the cage because the squirrels don't actually go after the tree, they go after that nut. And if they pull that nut out there too early, it kills the tree. And I'll squeeze this a little bit and give it a pull. And you can see the roots are right there at the bottom of the... And they're already going up the side of the container also. And we'll put that in the middle. And then I just go around that. Mash it down my fingers. Get it a little tight. A little compacted. Just start sitting them right here. And these bottles are just still on the ground. I'll come back and pick them up in a little bit. Some of these trees have actually double sprouted. They got two trees coming up out of them. I was told you can, if you're careful enough, you can pull them apart and have two trees. They're almost too tall for my uh, table I made too, by the way. Okay, some of them are touching the top of the table and the cage I built around it. And with these, these are Dunstans, if you remember. I think what I'm going to do, because I don't want all Dunstans in my orchard, I think I'm going to keep about 15 of these and try to sell the rest on Marketplace. I have not started cleaning out for orchard yet because we had a family crisis and I just do not feel like doing anything. I guess all of our work at the property is pretty much on hold right now. Look at this one, looks like a little bush. This is one of the ones that was in the Miracle Grow. You can tell by all the little white, I don't even know what you call them things. Yeah, the ones in the Miracle Grow just did not seem to do as well. Hopefully they'll do better now that I'm transplanting them though. Also, a lot of the ones that were in the Miracle Grow have like a algae growing on the jar, on the container that they was in, and on the soil. See, here's another one, Miracle Grow. It's got four stalks on it. Uh, we'll stay away from the Miracle Grow next year, though. There's another one, Miracle Grow. See how small it is? It 
Also has two stalks. I'm gonna go pinch this through a little one off of there. Maybe not. It's pretty tough. I'll probably come back out here another day and use a pair of scissors and cut some of these extra stalks off of these small trees. Even for its small size, the roots are all the way down to the bottom of the container. Now, a lot of people grow these indoors on their grow light, but I came right from the refrigerator to right outside. We did have two frosts after I pulled it, planted them outside, and I ended up having to carry all the trees in the house overnight. Here's another one in Miracle Grow. You see how small it is compared to the other ones. I don't think this one's going to come out. Oh, there it goes. Hoping they take off though. And they're also really crowded in my cage too, so I'm hoping these bigger pots give them a little bit more room to grow. They can reach sunlight a little bit better. We're supposed to be near 100 this weekend, so definitely need to shade cloth on for now. Well, this one here was struggling for sunlight, but it's really growing sideways. Now look at look at this one here. This one is really struggling, and again. I, don't, I think this is the PGX though. I just can't believe it's struggling so bad. I'll repot it though, see what happens. What's really funny on this one is how big a root is going down in there. It's huge. It's got roots all the way down the bottom too. And I think I got enough dirt to do one more pot, so I'm gonna go grab one more pot. All right, guys, I got 16 of them potted up right now. Or repotted, I should say. And if you see this orange bucket, I just leave it outside to collect rainwater. And every once in a while, I'll give them a shot of this rainwater. Other times I just use the hose. And I'll pour it slow or else it'll just lift up that PGX at first because it's so dry and it'll just float right out of the top of this thing. Once it gets damp, you don't have to be so slow with it. And I'll usually put two cups in each planter. for today look how tall this one is it's a nice one there 
but uh, that's gonna be it. Just want to show you, give you an update on this, and show you me replanting them, repotting them. And I'm gonna put them back in the cage, and I'll do a few more of them tomorrow after work. I've got about 34 of them done so far. I still got 30, 30 some more to go. That's gonna be it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. You know I like to read the comments. And, uh, that's going to be it, guys. You all have a great day, and I will see you next time.